Hi, and welcome to Anne's Family Recipe. Today I'm making a chocolate covered strawberry ice cream cake. This video is a collaboration with my friend Michelle from the channel Sweetwater Cakes, and wait till you check out her channel. Michelle's channel, Sweetwater Cakes, offers a variety of unique cake and cupcake decorating ideas, along with delicious recipes and tips and tricks for baking and cake decorating. Michelle wanted to make her own wedding cake, so she started taking cake decorating classes. Eventually, she worked in a high-end bakery and is currently a cake decorating instructor. If you have not just one, but many sweet teeth like I do, you will love watching her videos. So after you watch my video, make sure you subscribe to Michelle's channel and check out her Oreo ice cream cake. Now for my chocolate covered strawberry ice cream cake, I started with a pretzel crust. So this was one and a half sticks of unsalted butter that I melted in the microwave and then allowed to cool slightly. And then in a food processor, I added three cups of pretzel twists, which ended up being about two cups of ground up pretzel crumbs, and then three tablespoons of brown sugar. And this gives a nice rich kind of caramely flavor to the crust. I love adding this instead of regular white sugar. I started to pulse the pretzels and brown sugar together and then poured the butter into the mix until it was all combined. Next, I pressed the pretzel crust into the bottom of a nine inch spring form pan. And then this baked at 350 degrees just for about 10 minutes until it's set. And once it was baked, I allowed it to cool completely. Next, I made my homemade hot fudge layer. So this is my mom's hot fudge recipe, and it starts with half a stick of unsalted butter in a saucepan, along with three quarters cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then I cooked this over about medium low heat, whisking it so that everything melted together. Then I added in two thirds cup of sugar, and again, whisked it to combine. And lastly, I added in two thirds of a cup of evaporated milk and whisked this together. I brought this mixture to a boil and then reduced the heat to low, whisking all the while just to make sure that nothing burned on the bottom of my pan. And then I cooked the fudge for eight minutes, still whisking as it went along. After that, I removed it from the heat and allowed it to cool slightly, and you can see it thickens up really nicely. So next, I poured about three quarters of my homemade hot fudge that had cooled slightly over my cooled pretzel crust. And then I just held onto the rim of my pan and kind of rotated it around just to spread the fudge out evenly. I then placed this into the fridge so that everything would kind of firm up. The great thing about this homemade fudge is that it's never going to get hard, even when you put it in the freezer, but it will solidify a little bit so that you can spread the ice cream layer on top without making a mess. So next, I took a container. This was one and a half quarts of strawberry ice cream that I had allowed to sit out for a long time on the counter to get kind of soft. It actually hadn't even softened quite enough. So I used my offset spatula to spread it as much as I could, and then I actually let the cake sit out a little longer until I could spread out the rest of the ice cream evenly over the top of my pretzel crust and hot fudge. I wrapped up my ice cream cake in foil and saran wrap and then froze it until I was ready to decorate it, which was actually the next day. So for my cake decorations, I decided to make chocolate covered strawberries dipped in pretzel crumbs. So I just took a handful of pretzels and put them in a Ziploc bag and crushed them up with a rolling pin. And then I took about four ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips and melted them in 30 second increments in the microwave until they were completely melted. I stirred them with a little spatula in between. And then I dipped my strawberries into the melted chocolate and then into the little pretzel crumbs and then placed them onto a baking sheet that was lined with a silicone baking mat.
I also made some homemade whipped cream. So I took about one and a half cups of fresh whipping cream. I added just a splash of vanilla extract and two heaping tablespoons of powdered sugar. And then I beat this together with my electric hand mixer with my whisk attachment until it was very stiff because I wanted to pipe this onto the top of my cake. At this point, it was time to unmold my cake. So it's very easy with a spring form pan because you can just pop it open and your cake comes out right on the base. So I inverted the cake onto a plate so that I could remove the base. And then I inverted it again onto a cake stand so that I could remove the plastic wrap. And it worked out way better than I expected. Although I had thawed my cake a little bit because I wasn't exactly sure if it would come out cleanly from the pan. And unfortunately, once my cake was on top of the cake stand, it was too tall to put back in my freezer. So I was at this point working against the clock with a slightly drippy ice cream cake, but I promise you it tasted amazing. So as I said, I decided to pipe my freshly made whipped cream all around my cake. I used a little star tip and I just went around the base and then did some little rosette kind of shapes on the top and then I placed my chocolate covered strawberries on every other little rosette just for some decoration. Was it perfect? No. But that is why we have Michelle's channel, Sweetwater Cakes, so we can get lots of tips and tricks on how we can make our cakes look even more delicious. For serving this cake, I took that remaining quarter of the hot fudge sauce that I had reserved and I reheated it so that I could drizzle it all over the top of each slice. And I thought this was the perfect finishing touch. This cake tastes so incredible. I'm actually eating a slice right now as I edit this video. So you have that buttery, crunchy, salty pretzel crust with the rich chocolatey fudge, creamy strawberry ice cream, and that fresh fluffy whipped cream on top. It's the perfect combination of flavors. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my chocolate covered strawberry ice cream cake. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with another family recipe.